GM life Sky Temple. Hey, thank you, Jelly Eight. Too fun watching you play, Junkrat. Nice. Greetings, oh, fun friend. watching you play Junkrat. I'd pick Rock. I'd pick Rocket. I see. What was the best games today? I think that one was pretty good. My friend keeps telling me that Illidan is useless in this meta. Can you prove him wrong? Hey, it's Kendrick Swish. Uh, and Doge. Uh, I, I mean, in the meta, that means I would have to draft him correctly. And if I play him in quick match, what does that prove? Um, I can't prove it in rank. Greetings, friend. For the alliance. Greetings, friend. <laughs> Anyone order a uh -oh. one man record crew? For the alliance. Hey, Kendrick. Good luck, man. Juggles, Juggles, Suain. Thanks, man. Uh, the Real Nor, thank you very much for the dono. I do appreciate that very, very much. Uh, what can I do for you, man? Uh, do you want me to talk about Illidan? Do you want me to play him in quick match? Team League. I mean, Team League is going to be rough. I can try unranked draft if you like. If I do Team League, I'll be griefing my allies. And there's one thing you need to know about Cassandra and Tanka. They always try hard. Uh, me too, almost always. But, you know, sometimes fun trumps win chance. But I don't need to pull that crap here. So I can't just uh, play Illy here. Let me know, I'm reading uh, chat for your uh, comment, the real Nor. <laughs> why the Varian ban? Oh, that's why they banned Varian, because you're there. <laughs> Kendrick. Is this an avatar game? Oh, you know what? It could be, in theory. Though, I think Abba is a little rough against Gazlo if you go Abba. I certainly won't go Junkrat against Zeratul. I think it's good for Abba. It's good against Zeratul. Oh, okay. No Abba. Vanquish the weak. Evolve. Conquer. It's good. Do you and Cass play in the same room? Nope. I thank you. Convince him in any way you see fit XD. So Illidan's main role in the meta, Mr. Friend of the Real Nor, is as a counter to Zagara. Not having a mana pool, 
means that he can sweeping strike and immolation creep tumors for free all day every day L like very few heroes can um, only Zarya uh, Sonya and Chen can also do that um, then his the hunt shuts down Nidus network split push completely and immolation sweeping strike shuts down big infested zerg and minion waves he can also win in the solo lane one on one so he counters her in so many different ways this in my opinion is his place in the meta the second way that you can use illidan is the hunt together with tyriel genji hard engage you shut someone down with the hunt for example solo support Rhaegar team you jump on Rhaegar sanctification the hunt Gladiators, stun him shut him down and destroy him and glory. i'll play illidan for you if you like in uh in the next game unranked draft i think and then uh we can try to show but if i do that i will be if i take him early or if i hover it or i talk about it i'll be countered and illidan is able to the be countered fairly well so his place in the meta seconds. is very limited but he fulfills an important niche. Five, four, three, two, one. Let the battle begin. I'm gonna go for the nest build. Damn it. Unlucky. They rotated really fast. Choose 
Who's a talent? Two at once. Enough of my temple's power. Return to your war, heroes. Enemy slain! Your essence, little value. Killing spree! Oh, some people might wonder why no mule. I have full nest build and the slows are very powerful. Talent. Good, but don't get sloppy. I already am so far down this route of talents that it offers a lot of extra to, to do that. I think Mule is very powerful in Sky Temple, but it doesn't offer you any initial... Uh, nothing against Mule, okay? But there's uh, there's other ways to win. I do miss Mule when I don't have it, don't get me wrong. But Vile Nest has some great potential as well. Top is gone. I choose another one. Get Soma. Must improve. Yeah. Pay attention, we've lost the fort. Could you play a Eden in QM just to shut my friend up? Yeah. XD. No problem. Oh. Enemy slay. Two at once. 
<laughs> My God! You're making me a killing out there. Yes, sir. The real Nor, of course. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. My God. That was amazing. Cool voice line too from Rhaegar. The night of the sun Anubrak seems like a much nicer copy target than Genji would be. Also, I'd play Anubrak more, so... Get the uh, um, adrenaline boost. Oh, close. Oh, nice cleanse. The team had trouble keeping up with him. I should put a nest right on top of the cocoon normally. Good! But don't get sloppy. Our enemy has destroyed a fort! Kenji was slightly too far forward for most of the team to be able to get back up to him. I understand his sentiments though. That we didn't use all out. He was he was destroying that fight, but hard for everyone to catch up. We got the bruiser. Very nice, very nice. Hmm. 
Oh, we still have mid fountain. Good stuff. Good stuff. Why did I choose nest build? To slow rotations and stress the mana and health cooldowns of Rhaegar. And also it's fantastic wave clear. If you put the nest in the middle like this, look. Look what happens to the minion wave. It's better wave clear even than spike build, strangely enough. If you put two nests, it's gone. Executing. Boss is still a threat. Something else to fight over. Soon they shall pass in my glory. Destination confirmed. Keep destroyed. Nice ring of frost. No mercy. Nice Two ring points. of freaking frost. Three. Amazing. <laughs> 
Slap it. Feed my hunger. Eradication complete. Awesome game, dude. Really cool. Why not push top while symbioting them before fight after MVP. using out? First of all, the delay. Secondly, Ness will be out of range. Thirdly, if anything goes wrong, someone that ports could kill me. And it might be necessary to 24-7 support with symbiote. So you want to be in a place where if you 100% symbiote for like two minutes straight, you don't die to something. And I didn't need to be top with what? Little Locust? to have the merc camp kill the keep. That was a cool game, man. I will do a build review. Uh... So build review, we went for the triple nest build for uh, wave clear and slow rotation and some damage. <laughs> Jaina. <laughs> huh? Oh, because I ended on Jaina. That's funny. Uh, triple nest for the... yeah, And then Soma transfer with some heal and some move speed. And then uh, hive mind. Now, I never get envenomed spikes at 16 if I don't have it at 1. Because it's a bigger radius than CDR. So it's easier to get it. Instead, I choose boost to help someone like Jaina or Lily to escape from uh, trouble. Um, Hive Mind, Evo, obviously. Now, on Sky Temple, you would love to go for Mule or full hat build. For example, stab damage at 7 and then attack speed at 4. But I didn't feel we're that attack speed dependent, considering we have Genji and Jaina as our DPS. So attack speed is a no. So what do you get it for? Well, prolific. Or global nest. Maybe like bigger carapace. That would be pretty good with Genji. Uh, I think very valid for me as well would have been carapace heal. Carapace stays and is bigger. And then mule. But I feel like anytime you get mule, you're preparing to fall behind in some way. Whereas nest can help on the map for rotation and, and so on. File nest and stab can help in team fight for damage. You go mule. Now on Sky Temple it's the best because you always take structural damage. If you take mule on haunted mines and you never fall behind, you literally have a dead talent for like five minutes. But on Sky Temple it's always good. That's why it's very hard to take something else than mule on Sky Temple. But I've I've had some passive avatar play on my team where they go for the mule. And then don't do enough in the team fight. That's why. <laughs>